In this video, I'd like to show you how to calculate the rate of change uh, for numbers shown in a data table. So for this data table that I'm showing you here, it's telling a little story. It's telling you a story about something, uh, and we're keeping track of its distance from home in miles as the hours go by from 0 to 6, and it looks like the distance is decreasing. So the distance from home is decreasing, that means they must be getting closer and closer to home as the hours go by. So if I'm going to measure rate of change, so I want to get the rate of change here, I know this is a story about how the miles are changing uh, as the hours go by. So in this case, rate of change is going to be miles divided by hours, or miles per hour. So to do that, let's figure out how many miles are traveled in every hour. And I can see here, I can see that the number of miles is going from 120 miles to 90 miles, or it's decreasing by 30 miles. And it decreases 30 miles when I increase the time by two hours. Same thing here, I'm decreasing by 30 miles when I increase by two hours. I decrease my distance by 30 miles when I increase the time by two hours. So if I'm going to get the rate of change then, I have to do miles divided by hours. So the miles changed, it looks like we're decreasing by 30 miles in two hours. So negative 30 divided by two is going to be negative 15 miles per hour. And it's gonna be a negative because as time goes by, your distance is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you're taking away 15 miles from your distance every hour that goes by. So when there's a story, people generally uh, find that to be a little bit easier to manage. But a lot of times your data table won't have a story. It won't have miles and hours. It'll just have X values and Y values. But the good news is, is you treat it the exact same way. If you think of your distance as your Y and your hours as your X, you can do the exact same thing with this data table here. I still want to do the rate of change. Maybe I'll put it up here. Rate of change. But instead of doing miles divided by hours, Instead of miles divided by hours, what I'm going to do now is, instead of seeing how the miles are changing, I'm going to look to see how the Y values are changing. And instead of seeing how the time is changing, I'll look to see how the X values are changing. So instead of miles per hour, it's going to be Ys per X, or change in Y divided by the change in X. So let's work on that and figure that out. I can see that on this data table here, it looks like I am gaining 12 Y's, so I gain 12 Y's when I gain 3 X's. I gain 12 Y's when I gain 3 X's. I gain 12 Y's when I gain 3 X's. So if I'm going to calculate now what is my rate of change on this table, I'm going to do the same thing I did before, rate of change but I'm going to do my change in Y values divided by change in X. I gain 12 Y's every time I gain 3 X's, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, or 4 over 1. So this rate of change means for every 1 X I get, I get 4 extra Y's. 1 extra X means I'll get 4 extra Y's, or 4 Y's per X. So there's no story there, but I can still get a rate of change from that data table the same way I got it from the table up above. Hope that is clear. I hope that makes sense. Good luck on any problems that you're doing involving rate of change from a data table.